Hey there, I'm Courtney with RCK Livestock. Here, we document our journey of becoming a self-reliant homestead with our livestock and garden. So join us by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you can get ideas and stay up to date on our progress. So today I'm gonna do a seed haul for you and show you everything that I've got for our garden for the 2022 season. I purchased all the seeds from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. They're based out of Mansfield, Missouri. Um, and every year they send out a catalog um, that's pretty, it's got, I mean, a hundred plus pages of um, fruits, vegetables, herbs, flowers, all kinds of things. Um, so I ended up ordering uh, 45 seed packets from them. Um, I don't have a starting point. This is my first garden that I have, um, that I have intention behind. So I've planned, I think I've got enough seeds and if I don't, I guess we'll go from there. So I'm gonna go down the list in order that I ordered them. I'll talk about the kind of why I picked the seed, the, um, the days to harvest, days to germinate, and just kind of a little description on the back. So let's get started. So the first thing that I got was the jade bush beans. They're a 55 day bean, productive, reliable, and disease res resistant. This delicious stringless green bean is a market gardener's dream with home garden flavor. Bushy plants set tons of straight pods, poised high on the plant for easier picking. Pods are dark green, averaging about six inches long. So this is a fi uh, 55 day plant um, and seven to 14 days to germinate. I'm just looking for kind of a standard green bean and this packet had it for me. Um, it has, I haven't opened anything yet, but it says it has a minimum of 40 seeds per packet and it was $3 for the pack. The next thing I got was the Groninger Brussels sprouts. The ideal choice for first timers, medium to small sprouts, easy to grow variety and a steady producer. Will improve in flavor with cold weather. This has a minimum of 150 seeds. It was a $3 packet. And let's see. It does not have the days to maturity. Nope. No days to maturity on here. The next thing I got was the Rober cauliflower. Very adaptable. Productive variety from Poland produces perfect, large, tight 12 inch heads, despite temperature fluctuations that ruin most others. Um, so this is a 200 seed minimum, it was $3 for the pack. And it has a seven to 10 day germination. Um, and these are to be planted Let's see, so very early indoors or direct seed outdoors six to eight weeks before the last frost. The next thing I got was our carrot variety. I was just looking for a simple carrot um, that I can either freeze or can. So this is the Saint Valerie carrot, very old French variety, handsome, large, bright red, orange, 10 to 12 inch roots, um, smooth, sweet, and tender, and it's their favorite. Um, so it says this has a minimum of 800 seeds and it was a $2.75 for the pack and sprouts in 12 to 18 days. So this is the one that I ordered. So after a $10 purchase, they give you a free seed packet. So that same carrot variety ended up being my free seed for that $10 purchase. Um, but of course I didn't stop there. Um, my next variety or plant that I have is my sweet corn. It's a Demon Kansas or KS Super Sweet. It's an 85 to 95 day corn. A superior sweet corn introduced by Biodynamics Breeder in Germany as a very sweet early variety bearing large yellow kernels. It is a sugar enhanced corn that will hold well in many different places. Um, this has a minimum of 75 seeds and it was $4.50. Um, and yeah, so I ended up ordering um, two packs of this. So for me to be able to can what I wanted and freeze what I wanted, I needed at least um, two packages if they only had the minimum 75 seeds. 
So that's why I ordered two of those. Next is our cucumbers. The first variety I ordered was the Boston Pickling Cucumber. This is an old heirloom dating back to 1880. Vigorous vines give large yields of smooth green fruit. Excellent for pickles, very crisp and good quality. These have a minimum of 25 seeds. The packet was $2.75 and it sprouts in 17, seven to 14 days. Um, so that's gonna be for my pickling, um, you know, like pickles obviously, um, and then obviously fresh eating as well. And then the next one I got was Muncher Cucumbers. This is a non-bitter, dual-purpose, burpless variety. Harvest at six to eight inches for slicers and smaller for pickles and a robust, robust production. So I'm going to try this for our pickling cucumbers as well, but um, this is gonna be more for fresh eating. This is a minimum of 25 seeds, was $3 for the packet. The next set of crops that I have is our lettuce crops. This is um, Gustav's salad lettuce. It's a highly refined gourmet butterhead from the Dutch Isles, a compact, silky, soft lettuce that is excellent in so many dishes. This has a minimum of 250 seeds and was 350 for the pack. The next one is our salad blend, Rocky Top Lettuce. It's an improved formula blend. It's now better than ever. It includes some non-listed rare varieties, so in thick bands for cut and come again harvest, which is what I plan on doing with all of my lettuce varieties. This has a minimum of a thousand seeds and was $5 for the pack. And the last lettuce variety I have is the Ice Queen Lettuce, a French heirloom also known as Rain des Glaces. With its dark green color and slightly bitter interior, it's regarded as the best crisp head type. Cold tolerant and can be used for leaf lettuce or baby greens. This one has a minimum of 250 seeds and $2.75 for the packet. The next one I have is the melon. Um, I wanted something that was kind of like a cantaloupe and this was the closest thing I could find. It is an 85 day melon, an Ohio heirloom that has been grown since the 1920s. Succulent flesh is very sweet, aromatic, and finely flavored. We get about a three to four pound fruit and some resistance to wilt. This has a minimum of 25 seeds and a $3 packet. The next one is our okra. This is the Clemson spineless okra, developed in 1939, a standard ever since. Plant is spineless, tasty green pods, and best picked small. Um, so I got the okra to, uh, for pickled okra, that's one of my husband's favorite snacks is pickled okra. Um, and then I would like, you know, fried okra. Um, and that's really the only way I've had it, is either pickled or fried. So we have that for those. The packet has a minimum of 30 seeds and was $3. All right, so next is our peppers. The first pepper I have is our Anaheim pepper. It's a favorite hot pepper originally from New Mexico. Delicious, mildly hot flavor. Excellent for roasting or frying. Good yields of very large chili peppers. Um, so this is going to be used for roasting. Um, we'll use it in chili and a bunch of other different things. We're not big spicy pepper people, so this is gonna be our about as spicy as we get in our house. The packet has a minimum of 25 seeds and the pack was $2.75. The next one that I'm pretty excited about is called the Natapeno pepper. And it says, love the flavor of, and crunch of jalapeno, but can't take the heat. This truly heatless jalapeno is perfect for those with sensitivity or aversion to heat of traditional jalapeno peppers. Great for pickling, stuffing, poppers, and salsa. This variety is very early and prolific. So this was right up our alley with not being spicy. I'll be using it in our salsas. I'm gonna do cream cheese stuffed peppers and all the things to do with jalapenos that we usually can't do because we don't like jalapeno peppers. So we're pretty excited about this. We're interested to see how it's gonna turn out. Um, the packet has a minimum of 25 seeds and was $3.50. Next is the bell peppers. We have red bell peppers that are the California Wonder, an old time garden standard, excellent green bell pepper. Well, I guess they're gonna be green and not red like the picture. Um, <laughs> 
nice size and very good yield. Um, I'm really not picky about the colors of my peppers. It's just funny that the color was red and it reads that it was green. Anyways, um, the packet has a minimum of 25 seeds and it was $2.75 for the packet. Next is the Etiuda pepper, a tasty Polish commercial variety, sugary, sweet when ripe, blocky and thick walled, orange fruit is crisp and juicy reaching a half a pound. This pepper has um, 10 seeds in the pack and was $3 for the package. And the last bell pepper that I got, actually the last pepper that I got, was the Purple Beauty pepper. It says it's a 75 day pepper. Reliable and well adapted plants produce high yields of this delicious onyx colored pepper. These compact plants average 18 inches in height with large four inch black fruit when ripened or that ripen to deep purple. Flavorful, crisp, and juicy with a thick wall. Um, has a minimum of 25 seeds and is $3 a pack. So with all of the peppers, they all have a um, starting in a light situation, a grow light situation for eight to 12 weeks before your last frost. So those are the first things that I'm gonna get started in my garden under our grow lights. The next things I have up is our radishes. Um, I don't usually, I don't usually eat radishes, but I feel like it's one of those things that if I had it, then I would eat it. So I'm gonna do things like pickling, um, you know, eating fresh and salads and whatnot. So we're gonna give these a try. So the first radish I have is our purple plum, and this is a lovely bright purple with one and a half inch globes and have a sweet crisp white flesh, which was not, does not get pithy. This was a um, 25 day radish. It's a minimum of 200 seeds and the seed pack was 275. The next set of radishes I got, this is a different um, seed pack, but it's everything's packed for 2022, so I'm not sure what the difference was. Um, but this is the Day 18 jours, which I think is French for 18 days. So it's an 18 day radish. Um, I think it's kind of one of the original radish seeds, but it has 200 seeds in it and was 275 for the package. So the last radish that I got was actually another free packet. I think after you spend $35, they send you another free seed packet. So this is the other one, and it's the Japanese wasabi radish. 60 days to maturity, this round-shaped Japanese daikon radish is intensely pungent, spicy flavor, perfect for lovers of wasabi. Chefs and experimental home cooks will be delighted to play with this sensational root crop. So as I was telling you earlier, we're not fans of spicy food, so I'm probably gonna gift this to either my dad or one of our close friends. All right, so next up is our squash. I have zucchini, zucchini squash. It's a classic dark green, straight to slightly curved zucchini on vigorous bush plants. Tender, creamy white flesh and freezes well. Um, it came with a minimum of 20 seeds and was $3 for the packet. Obviously, zucchini is kind of a staple in any garden. Um, I love getting zucchinis from family and friends, for zucchini bread, freezing, cooking with, and all of the sorts. So the next squash that I got was the yellow zucchini, um, slender, bright, golden yellow fruit, as delicious as they are attractive, this is distinctive zucchini flavor too. So I really just got this so then when I do things like frying the zucchini and roasting it and you know having it um, in some kind of meal that's going to be cooked rather than baked, I'll have some sort of brightness and contrast. So that's what I got these for. Um, this is 20 minimum, 20 seeds minimum in the pack and was $3 for the pack. This is the one that I'm probably the most excited about on the whole seed haul. And that's our honey nut squash. This is a 100 day seed, a mini butternut, one of the best tasting squash of all time. Fruit reaches just four, and a, four to five inches long, single serving size and quicker to roast and whole. Um, it's bred by renowned vegetable breeder Michael Mazurek of Cornell and taste trialed by famous chef Dan Barber. 
This has 20 seeds in it minimum and is $4 for the pack. So we're excited to give that a try. And I have a four year, or she's five now. I have a five year old and of course we can't have a garden without pumpkins. So we have just a standard field pumpkin, a traditional American pumpkin, pumpkin, truly ancient golden fruit, weighs about 20 pounds each and great for pies. So I'm going to do a lot of um, pie making. Of course, we're gonna have jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween and this is just gonna help us out. This is a minimum of 20 seeds in the pack and 275 for the pack. So the bulk of my garden is going to be tomatoes. So um, here's all of our tomato varieties. The first one we have is German pink. Um, and this is a German pink tomato of Bavarian origin. This heirloom made its US debut in 1883. Gorgeous, massive pink fruits, extremely versatile, excellent for canning, freezing, slicing, and juicing. This is, uh, has 25 seeds per pack and was $3. The next one I have is the True Beef Steak. It's ideal for slicing. The fat oblate fruit is about four to five inches in diameter and features maroon or brownish purple flesh with red center. Due to the heavy fruit, pa uh, plants should be staked or caged. This has a minimum of 25 seeds and was $4 for the pack. The next one I have is a Sweetheart Cherry Tomato. Um, I am a sucker for cherry tomatoes and we'll just sit there all day long just eating cherry tomatoes off the vine. So I'm super excited about this one. It's a 60 day cherry tomato packed with sweetness and a rich berry like flavor. It is quite crisp and the fruit can keep on the extra long vine, making it extra high in sugar. These little strawberry shaped jewels are wildly productive little snacking tomatoes and resist cracking. Uh, this has a minimum of 10 seeds in the pack and is $3.50 for the pack. All right, so this next tomato is the Roma tomato. Between this one and the next one, it's gonna be what I use for the bulk of my uh, tomato garden and what I'll need most for my canning and then whatever I don't use as far as space-wise, whatever I have left, I'll plant the rest of the varieties. So this is the Roma tomato. It's a determinant type. Fantastic yields of richly favorful, favorful plum-shaped paste tomatoes on compact plants and tolerates early blight. This has a minimum of 25 seeds and is 275 for the pack. The next one, like I said, I'll be using um, this pack and the last one until I use those up. Um, this one's the Amish paste tomato from an Amish community in Wisconsin. Giant, blocky, plum-shaped tomatoes have delicious red flesh, perfect for paste and canning. This one has a minimum of 25 seeds and is 275 for the pack. This one is really just gorgeous and I'm excited to see what, you know, how it turns out. So this one is the Sartre Relois tomato. It's an 85 to 90 day tomato. Gorgeous globes have the luster and stunning color of stained glass. Masterpiece, bursting with sweet, fruity, and complex flavor with just the right acidity. Tropical sweet with high antioxidant content, content. large beef steak, fruit average 10 to 24 ounces each. It was the winner of their 2020 taste tests. So this pack had um, a minimum of 10 seeds and is 450 for the pack. Another cherry tomato that I'm excited about. This is the black strawberry tomato. It is a 60 day, one ounce fruit is marbled blue scarlet with gold. A bowl full resembles a luminous bunch of gems and the flavor is decadent and indulgent with perfect sweet and tart balanced flavor. Extremely productive early, obvious choice for gardeners and market farmers. This pack had ten, a minimum of 10 seeds and was $4 for the pack. And the last tomato I got was the Black Beauty. It's known as the world's darkest tomato, so dark that some tomatoes turn solid blue and black on the skin. Um, so this is just a really pretty slicer tomato that I wanted to try. As far as I know, it's a slicer, but I'm sure I'll find out. 
um, but it has a minimum of 25 seeds and was $5 for the pack. The last um, piece of produce that I have for the garden is the watermelon. So this is a strawberry watermelon. It was originally selected from Florida Heirloom by Walt Childs and introduced in 1989 by Southern Exposure Seed Exchange. Gorgeous strawberry pink flesh is sugary sweet, fruit up to 25 pounds, some disease tolerance, and is outstanding. So we love watermelon in our house, so we're excited for this one. Um, has a minimum of 25 seeds and is $4. So that was all the uh, fruits and vegetables that we have. And then I also got some herbs and medicinal flowers for the garden as well. So the first one I got is the Genovese basil. Um, it's a famous Italian heirloom, most popular with cooks, makes excellent pesto, tolerates numerous harvests, large leaves, and aromatic and tender. Um, has a minimum of 100 seeds and was $3 for the pack. Basil's pretty standard in um, you know, most homes that cook a lot. I'm not a super big fan of basil, but I'm hoping that this, you know, just having it in my home and um, using it more frequently will change my mind. So we'll see. Uh, the first flower I got was calendula. Um, it's an annual his, it's an annual plant, historic heirloom garden plant that was known as a pot marigold. Lovely flowers up to four inches in colors of orange, apricot, yellow, peach, and cream. A lot of people use calendula for salves, oils, um, and tea, so I'm excited for the medicinal benefits. Um, it has a minimum of 125 seeds and was $3 for the pack. The next medicinal flower I got was chamomile. It's an annual flower, easy self sows. A Polish variety has a wonderful aroma and is used to make teas and studied for its health benefits. So we like using chamomile for tea um, when we have stomach aches and just when we kind of want some relaxation. Um, and I just really like tea to be honest. So um, this is what we have. Minimum of 300 seeds in the pack was $3 for the pack. The next one is Echinacea. This is the Paradiso Mix Echinacea. This candy jar of color adds gorgeous accent to herb gardens, perennial beds, meadows, and containers. A truly remarkable, a truly remarkable medicinal ornamental, two to three feet tall, can be harvested and made into herbal tea that helps boost the immune system. So that's what we got it for, was for an immune tea. Um, it has a minimum of 15 seeds in it and is 450 for the pack. The next herb I have is lavender. This is oregano lavender. It's an oregano scented silvery foliage as delicate as fine French lace. Makes this a unique member of the lavender family. It is a first season blooming perennial but not cold hardy so it must be brought indoors or protected in zones seven or cooler. This has a minimum of 50 seeds and was 350 for the pack. The next herb I got was mountain mint. Generally perennial, an easy grower pollinator, plant loaded with nectar so it is, so the delicate spotted flowers hum with life. Mammals won't bother it yet it's delight in gardens because simply brushing this plant will release the beautiful mint aroma. I really love mint anything, so I'm excited to get this to grow. Um, this has a minimum of 75 seeds and was $4 for the pack. Oregano is the next type I, or herb I got. It's another kind of staple in our cooking. Um, it's a tender perennial, a historic Middle Eastern favorite. Great flavor, blending hints of oregano, thyme, and marjoram and is an Israeli seed. This has a minimum of 50 seeds and was $4 for the pack. Parsley I put in more things than I could think of so obviously this is going to be a staple. Um, we got the Parsley Giant of Italy variety. It's an annual herb, very large leafed Italian strain with great flavor, perfect for sauces, salads, and fish dishes and really whatever else you could possibly think to put in it. <laughs> um, it has a minimum of 400 seeds 
and was $3 for the pack. The next one is the Broadleaf Sage. This is a perennial culinary type for flavoring meats, stuffings, vinegars, and more. Fragrant leaves and also used in potpourri. So for obvious reasons, I'm getting this for our cooking. Um, it has a minimum of 75 seeds and was $3 for the pack. This one I'm interested to see how it turns out, but it's called the Toothache Plant. And it is an annual seed. It possesses numbing qualities when chewed and has other herbal uses. Yellow and red cone-shaped flowers. This had a minimum of 75 seeds and was $3 for the pack. And the last seed of the night was our thyme. This is a tender perennial, very aromatic and flavorful, and is not winter hardy. It has a minimum of 600 seeds and was $2.75 for the pack. So, like I said, I had 45 seed packets that I got. Um, two of them were free. My total order from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds was $147.25. They did offer free shipping. Um, I ordered on a Sunday and I got it on a Friday, but they say on their website between 10 to 14 days. It was shipped from Missouri. I live in Northern Colorado. For reference, we're in Zone 5B, so our gardening season's getting coming up close, so I'm super excited about that. I'm gonna take you along on the next videos to um, my indoor seed starting. We're gonna kinda do that. Uh, we're gonna start some peppers, we'll start some tomatoes, and then I think I'm gonna start some of the flowers to see kinda what happens there. If you have any questions about anything that any of the information I gave, just let me know down in the comments. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. I will post Baker Creek's website down in the description box. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.